Before taking the float ball off, what I like to do is mark this so I know exactly where it goes back on. You can see there the build up that's actually on that screw. We're already getting signs that it is a carb issue. Take the float ball off. And look at that. All that build up in there. Chances are we've found the issue already. Take this screw out here as well. Spray a bit of carb cleaner in this and we'll let that soak just whilst we do the other bits. Now we can carefully remove this pin and lift the floats out. Check the condition of the needle. I'm happy with that needle there. It's clean. Doesn't appeal to be warm. And then you want to take this seal out so you don't lose it. That's that out. And then from there you've got your main jet inside there. When removing this main jet you want to ensure you've got the correct size flathead screwdriver because the jet is made of brass so it's quite easily rounded. And that there is completely blocked so there's no way that's allowing fuel to pass through your other jet should tap out there you go as you can see how that's come out your narrow piece goes in first I'll hold this to the light you can see we have a small amount of light coming through them holes. Whereas on this end, there is absolutely none whatsoever. Because them holes are clogged up. Compressed air is going to be your best friend for cleaning a carb out. You get your send a tin of carb cleaner. Fire this through the jets. And one thing to do is remove this pilot jet. Now before removing it, you want to wind it all the way in and count the number of turns so you know exactly where to set it. Three and three quarters. So three and three quarters out from all the way in is where it was set. So I'll just write that down. Then once you've got that screw removed out, you can use a screwdriver and carefully pop this cover off. And then you can remove your pilot jet. Careful when this pops out because it does have seals on which you don't want to lose. That can also become blocked up. So I'll get some carb cleaner through that. Now back onto your cab, you can see the holes you've got there down the pilot jet. And you've got several more holes coming out here. But to start with, you just want to spray where the fuel comes in and see. That's clear. Pilot jet and give that a spray. That's clear. And from there, you don't have to work in a logical order for this, you can just spray in every hole. Clean 
ことばかり。I have these welding tips here, which are very good for working on small engines. You can use these to clean the jets out. You can see that whole layer is blocked up. So we'll go through from the other side. Step up to a bigger tip once we're through. But now see that is clean. Do the same on your jet. Just make sure every single hole is nice and clean. Compressed air doesn't get it all, so you may just have to come back through with these tip cleaners. For what these tip cleaners cost, I'd recommend getting them in your toolbox. There, I'm happy that jet is clear. And now we have this jet, which is the one that screws in. That was actually blocked. And now, that's nice and clear. Then we have your pilot jet. And remember to keep that o-ring safe on the end. And the hole in the end of the pilot jet is very tiny, so you might struggle to get a tip cleaner through. So the best thing to do is hold it up to the light and just see if it's clean and free from debris. I'm a bit coming back out, but it is coming out the sides now. So that is clean and good to go back in. And now we can reassemble the carb. First off, I'm going to put this main jet back through. You want to put the narrow side in first. Then you can take the piece you screwed out and put that back in. That only goes one way. The flathead side facing out so you can obviously wind it back in. You don't want to go too tight, just give it a nip. Because it is brass, which is soft. You see there it's tight, a bit of a nip, and that's good. You can then go ahead and put the float back on, pin back through, float bowl seal back on, and now we can put the float bowl back on. And this bolt goes back in with the jets nice and clean. I've actually lost my proof mark of where the float bowl was. However, I do know that the idle screw and the overflow screw were both in line. So I'm happy where that's at. And then we can go ahead and put the pilot jet back in making sure it's got both o-rings on there just press that down you can put its cover back in and then the air screw that's just not seated down properly is that That's a pilot jet back in, it just wanted a firm press down. Now I need to wind this screw all the way back in. And once it's all the way back in, I can wind it out three and a three quarter turns. And that's wound back out there to where it was. And that there is your cab cleaned and ready to go back on with the correct gaskets.